who knows um, these questions are from the nature girl 30 and I really appreciate them by the way if you don't know who she is check her out one of the few female people that actually review raw and review the pay-per-views um, she's got some cool ideas just the nature girl 30 check her out uh, do you think that raw's quality will improve when the WWE debuts their new channel next year this is a two, like a, a double-edged kind of thing. Um, what I hope for it to yes. Once they have their own channel, they don't have to you know abide by the network, other network's rules and stuff. So maybe they can go back to being a little bit edgier. But I honestly don't think that WWE will improve quality-wise until there's any kind of competition for them. Um, you know, to be the top promotion. Like, if you look back in history, uh, WWE was only really, like, at their best when they had competition. And without it, it's almost like they're lost. It's almost like they don't have, like, a clear focus. Because they don't have to. They can be lazy. Um, next question is, who do you think the Undertaker's final opponent will be at WrestleMania? Um, well, first of all, it should be somebody new. That's, that's all I care about. It should be somebody who would really benefit from a rub from being in the ring with somebody like him. Um, so I don't want to see like a, a Taker Triple H match again. I don't want to see a Taker versus any other established star just yet. Um, you know, let it be like a Mason Ryan. Make him look like a million dollars. Um, let it be a Wade Barrett. Somebody that could legitimately put on a good match and be convincing to think he's going to break the streak and then just you know, give it his best, but then you know, I would want Undertaker to, to retire with the streak intact. I think that that's, that's the best thing that WWE can do, is to let him go out that way, and to honor all the years of service that he's done for that company, but it is time for Taker to go, and as sad as that is, I think that he's got another good match in him, and it needs to be with somebody that we haven't seen him in there with before. And somebody that's not like a Randy Orton, or somebody that's not at the top just yet, somebody that he could feud with, and it be, like, really memorable. Um, since Raw decided to finally axe the anonymous general manager, they never really answered who it was. Who do I think the anonymous GM is, or was? Um, and again, this question is from the Nature Girl 30. Uh, I don't think that anybody knew who the hell the GM was going to be. Um, I think they threw it around like spaghetti, tried to stick it to the wall to see who should should do it. Um, you know, at one point, it probably could have been Triple H before he came back, and they just they figured, what the hell, we're just going to have him come back anyway, it doesn't matter. And then uh, at some one point, they probably thought they could get Foley back, and that didn't happen until more recently, so I, I really don't know. I can't tell you. Um, but thank you for the questions. These next couple come from James Lee Morehouse, otherwise known as the Black Rose 1991. I hope I got that right. Um, also, another person whose videos I am subscribed to myself, and another person featured by Off the Rope Show and plugged by many other people. Great mind for the business, not afraid to share his opinion. Look him up. Uh, where do you think TNA are taking this James Storm Bobby Roode rivalry? And do you feel they have blown their load already? Or do you feel this could still work? Personally, um, the rivalry could have worked better if they had started the heel turn at a pay-per-view instead of it away on free television. Um, and I really think that they should have them friendly for a little while to, you know, competing very nicely so that it didn't just automatically have to go this. I mean, they could have built it a lot better, a lot slower, and made it, stretched it out for longer. Um, it, it is way too soon for him to be heel already, and I think it's too soon for them to have had this rivalry to begin with, like right now, how it is. Um, but, you know, TNA, they don't look to the future. And the booking is just week to week, only to get the TV ratings. It's the same crap that WCW tried to do to scramble to improve, like, the viewership and, you know, the amount of people that were watching their show instead of watching something like WWF at the time, but they're just shooting themselves in the foot because... You know, it's pre-taped, and nobody gives a shit. They'll just read the spoilers, and to be honest, there's not even any spoiling because the product is just that bad recently. 
sorry TNA, you know, I really, I was with you guys for a long time, and you just pissed me off, you really did. Um, the last question, again from Black Rose, was, do you feel Lita is quite underrated in how WWE always seem to forget about her when talking about great divas of the past? It's a very good question. Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of Lita. Uh, it, she definitely played an important role for the company. I'm not going to deny that. I think that she deserves more accolades than she gets. But uh, at the same time, you know, like, she's not a Trish Stratus. She's just not. And to make a comparison like that is like comparing Ultimate Warrior to Hulk Hogan or something. You know, like, they were both big at one time, but you know damn well who was the bigger star. There's no there's no question about it. So uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this Q&A. Thank you for submitting your video or your videos. Thank you for submitting your questions. Uh, I'd like to make more future videos in the future. Thus, they be future videos. I'm just rambling now. Fuck it. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, subscribe if you want. If you don't, I'm not going to be too butthurt about it, you know, because I'm just kind of chilling in the basement. So I'll still be here. And, uh, you know, everybody have a great night. Just, uh, you know, thumbs me up if you could a little bit. It'll help my, uh, my ego. And, uh, we'll see you later.